Hello and welcome to Chad and Cherry Surf Music Review. I'm Chad Shivers. And I'm Cherry. And we have a special guest today, Brad Maddox. So Brad is the principal guitarist. Third guitarist. Principal guitarist third of guitarist. the Frigidaires where I am the third guitarist. So <laughs> I'm the third guitarist. <laughs> so Brad was on uh, before mm -hmm. uh, when we did our Phantom Surfers. Phantom Surfers, Surfers yeah. Um, and was it Phantom Surfers Davey Allen? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Skater Hater, which was so cool. It was Such a great, a great record. record. Yeah. Um, so today is a first for Brad. It's his first mail, mail call. call. So uh, if you've seen this segment before, we basically just get, uh, review stuff that we get in the mail. Um, although this one's a little different. We're reviewing things that I picked up on my uh, on my trip to SG101. So stuff I picked up at SG101 or um, at, a, at a shop near nearby in Long Beach. So uh, it's kind of a weird one. We're going to be mentioning some things that we have but not playing because we're going to be covering it or we have already covered it and there's some non-surf releases that we're going to be going over as well. So um, first up, the drink. Uh, we're drinking non-alcoholic versions of a reverb crash and this is significant because uh, Ron Maseko, and I'm sorry if I'm saying your name incorrectly Ron, um, is one of the guys that that helps with SG-101. He, he provides all the beautiful blonde backlined amps um, that sound so good. And uh, he's, he's, a, he's an awesome guy and a great player too. He, I've actually got one of his records coming in the mail, the Simtar. So if you haven't ordered the Simtar's record, order that with our buddy JP on bass as well. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's get into it. So first up, oh, I'm sorry, one more thing. We're, uh, Brad and I are smoking Ramon Ayones by AJ Fernandez. And this is the... Selection Especial. Selection Especial. Muy, muy bueno. All right. So, first up, <laughs> a uh, non-surf record, but surf adjacent. So, if you've seen the show before um, a few times, you'll probably know that I'm a huge Beach Boys fan. And this is um, Brian Wilson's Your Imagination, which I didn't realize was like a thing. I didn't realize this, this single was ever released. And I picked it up. Not only because it's great to have, but the B-side's an acapella version of Your Imagination. So, very, cool. very, very yeah. cool. So good to have. Um, I'm really hoping we're coming up on, I think, maybe 30 years of the record, uh, Imagination. Um, so I'm hoping for a vinyl release because it was never released. The full length was never released. Okay. All right. So, up next, we've got... Lewis Bailey and the Sunny Side Five with Pink Slip, and I actually know Lewis from um, he had a band called the Nova Rays and used to run around with the Intoxicators guys and and Disaster Nuts guys, of course, and was a Disaster Nuts Disaster Nuts sometimes uh, when he was in Florida. Now he's in SoCal and doing a bunch of stuff. He just released a full length and this single. And check this out. We've got a beautiful. Bubblegum pink. It's almost like a highlighter pink too. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, cotton candy. I like that kind of it's cotton beautiful. candy. Pretty. So um, a cotton candy pink. Forty-five. So we'll listen a little bit of that here. And now that we drop the needle, cheers, guys. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Can you put this up there? Mm -hmm. Lewis signed it. I don't know if you guys can see that here. That was cool. All right. So while we're listening, let's cover some stuff we're not going to play. So we covered this in our last video. Um, Probably one of our favorites, like now, yeah. uh, especially Cherry. So we covered this um, Chillingsworth Surfing Ham, um, and also I met John at uh, Chillingsworth at at SU101. He was also nice to sign sign this for us, yeah. for both of us. And we mentioned in the video it hadn't left the table in like two Couple or three weeks. weeks, and it's still going on in regular ro rotation. So. Um, Just putting it on in my office. Absolutely like, love via it. Amazon Music. So, it's on Amazon Music, y'all. We got a uh, <laughs> pretty clear record here. Oh, 
And there might be a uh, Frigidaire's uh, Chillingsworth Serving Ham collaboration sometime in the future. All right. One more before we put something else on. So we've got a record that is not a surf record. I just happened to pick this up at, from a vendor at SU 101. And there is a surf connection. So um, one of my favorite uh, punk bands, The Dam, Phantasmagoria, and I've wanted this record for a while. This is kind of like their like, gothy synth wave kind of stuff, but it's still awesome. The songs are awesome. The Dam just write great songs. And so I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think that, that Rat Scabies, the original drummer, was on this record, but Rat Scabies actually does have a surf band called the Sinclairs. We have that record, maybe we'll get to it at some point, okay? All right, let's, uh, let's listen to something else. So, very good, Lewis. Yeah, great and too. And the uh, Science Out 5, I think the B-side is just as good. All right, so. All right, so these guys actually played at SU 101 um, and were phenomenal. I know they were kind of like a, a favorite of some folks uh, at, at the festival. So this is the Hellmenders. Have a good funeral, my friend. And this is the Western alter ego of the Volcanoes from Detroit. And which is one of my favorites. We've covered two of their uh, full lengths. This is 45, right? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we That's the know. problem with these sometimes. So, yeah, both the Volcanoes and the Hellbenders played. And, uh, man, I, you know, Volcanoes, seeing the Volcanoes, I, I haven't seen them before, but. It was great to see him in that setting, like on that big stage, and um, just so cool. And uh, Rick was actually nice enough. I, w I had messaged him before. I was like, hey, if you have this, you know, save me a copy. And he, like, came up to me and handed me a copy. So I was really like, so thanks, Rick. Awesome. And Hellbenders and, and Volcanoes. Love you guys so much. Um, pick up anything and everything from these guys. It's just, you're going to get great stuff all around. Uh, okay, I think we have one more that we can, that we're not going to cover. No, let's see here. Okay, here we'll kind of scatter. All right, so um, I'm just an instrumental music fan, and uh, so I picked this up, Merle Haggard and the Strangers, totally instrumental with one exception. So, oh, that's uh, funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think there's a couple of. Instrumental Strangers records. I think I have the other one as well. So it's fun. Kind of a little bit more bluegrassy than I would expect. Right. You know? um, but really cool. It's a bunch of country guys, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So just play for a second and then we'll uh, play something else. Oh no! I let it go. Too long. Just remember it's a quad play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't burn your face off. You know, speaking of like country guys and instrumental stuff, I was watching uh, the Chet Atkins Austin City Limits, mm -hmm. which is great because it's just him playing, but it's just as good for the dad jokes. Oh, because sure. he switches from electric guitar to acoustic, mm -hmm. or from acoustic guitar to electric guitar, and he says, like, this is an electric guitar, I was playing an acoustic guitar, an electric guitar is more efficient than a, than a diesel guitar. <laughs> you know? Nice. So. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. But that's, that's great stuff to check out, too. If you, you know, on the instrumental side. Oh yeah, well I mean, Chet Atkins, Chet Atkins was a huge influence on surf music. Good Lord. So, all right, wonderful guys, Brad. This is right up your alley mm -hmm. too. Yeah, I love the uh, I love the Western stuff. The you like spaghetti stuff. you like the not only the spaghetti stuff, but like the European instro. Oh yeah. A lot of the like, I mean, you like surf music too. That's sort to put words in your mouth here. Yeah. But, well, I don't know. Um, 
<laughs> Brad and I hang out enough to where we know kind of what, what each other like. That's the truth. All right, so uh, up next, again, these guys um, also played uh, at, at SU 101. Um, this is a split, and the other band we had seen recently, and we yeah, said we were going to cover back. a little bit. Um, unfortunately, I was grabbing dinner while these guys played, and these guys were apparently like one of the biggest hits of the festival, so I am super bummed. Um, from France, the Irradiates, and this is their split with Beware the Danger of the Ghost Scorpions from uh, Beware the Dangers of the Ghost Scorpion from uh, Boston, which uh, Mystery Men played with along with Chrome Castle. What was that, like a month and a half ago or something? I don't, I don't know. even know that it was that long ago. It wasn't. It was okay. a couple weeks. Yeah. Was Two it weeks, first three. of August? Yeah, beginning of August, maybe. Oh, okay. All right, so mm -hmm. this is 33. So I don't remember if I said it or not, but Radius are from France. I think they feature members from Arno de Say and the Clockwork Wizards. Uh, this is kind of more of the aggressive... Um, Kind of the aggressive sound. I was really hoping that they would have more vinyl, but they had been on tour in the States, I don't know, a couple weeks, and they sold basically everything. I got the last copy of this, uh, and which was nice, because Beware of the Danger of the Ghost Scorpion didn't have this yeah. at their show, and I bought, you know, pretty much whatever they had on vinyl. Yeah. Um, I think I had, we bought like, what, two seven inches and a full length mm -hmm. um, from them. While we were there. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely hear the Manor and Astro Man influence on this. Yeah. Oh, this is playing. I'm going to show up one more here. We're going to cover this next. So, uh, these guys also played SG-101 and were fantastic. Um, yeah, it really kind of surprised me. I even feel like I saw them before, but they didn't hit me like they did this time. So, we've got the Surf Kings from SoCal. Tales from the Deep. And this is kind of like a greatest hits. Like they have um, like three records and they, you can see they all signed it. This was a very, very limited edition. Uh, I think they had, I don't know, like 40. And I had, um, I think they're sold out now. So too bad if you didn't get one. Um, the <laughs> so album cool. artwork is great. It's really it's cool. Really nice. And uh, Brad, we'll, we'll play this after we're done with the video. Yeah, yeah. I think you'll like this. Yeah. It's very proggy. It's very, um, it's very, I get a lot of merman vibe from it, yeah. and you'll hear that on our video when we do that, probably tomorrow. Um, you'll get it when you get it. You'll get it when you get it, people, <laughs> come on. So, um, this features Tom Tom Stanton of a band called The, the Crossfires, which are from the first the first wave, yeah. and members of The, uh, of the Crossfires, um, a good bit of them went on to form The Turtles from Happy Together fan. So, wow. yeah, so Tom, Tom's an OG and it's really surprising to like hear proggy stuff from like an OG guy, you know, um, it does have like a more of a blues influence, I think, than Merman do, but, um, it's spectacular. So really, really great songs. We'll get more into that for sure. All right. Good timing. Yeah. Very good. All right. Moving on, I think we're on, are we on the full lengths now? Yes. Yeah. All right. So those are all the 45s. Yeah. Picked up, or seven inches. Seven inches, thank you, Brad. All right, this one I picked up at a shop in Long Beach, and I'm sorry, I can't remember the name. Um, I've been looking for this record for a while. Uh, you guys know I'm a big, like, studio band uh, fan, and I love all the Delphi stuff that came out in the 60s, like Lively Ones, and and all the stuff that, that the studio groups did. So I got this, the Defenders Drag Beat. So some hot, good hot rod music for you. It's got the cheap like glossary on the back. There's no art or anything about it. It's just like licensed, cheap licensed uh, uh, hot rod photos. And uh, yeah, we'll play this. Hold that for a second. 
and it's it's falling apart. It is falling apart a little bit. I mean, you know, this has never been re-released. This is from the '60s, mm -hmm. so it looks. What am I doing here? Um, this is why Cherry <laughs> usually does this. Okay. This ain't even my desk. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, it looks it looks pretty rough. I was a little worried about it, but it plays fine. It sounds great. So, yeah. yeah. I love the hot rod stuff. And someone had mentioned, I think it was like Nick, our third guitarist. Our third guitarist. <laughs> I think he was talking about doing something like a like a hot rod versus, or maybe it was yeah, I don't know who it was. We're talking about doing like the surf versus hot rod episode, like a special episode. That, that would be, be a great episode. To do. Yeah. Um, or like uh, uh, Richard had talked about doing like spy and crime jazz and yeah. all that stuff. So, because um, there's all this like tangential stuff that's yeah, it all cross, it's all cross pollinated, right? You know? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, right now, off the top of my head, I can't remember anything about the Defenders. I don't know if it's Gary Usher. Probably Gary Usher. Right. Um, but really, really good stuff. They have a couple of records. They have a couple of records. Um, they have this one. I think at least one more. But yeah, kind of a quick thing about Hot Rock. It's more like R&B yeah. based than, than like drippy reverb or anything. Lots of honking sax for, for Terry. Terry loves the sexy sax. Doesn't matter what kind. It can be sexy, it can be yakety. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Should we play a vocal? Uh, yeah. Okay, so, speaking of studio groups, um, I got one more while I was there. And again, this was on my list, been wanting this for a while. Uh, this is She's a Bad Motorcycle by The Risers. Thank you, Brad. Um, so this is mostly vocals. I don't know if there are any instrumentals on here. Um, kind of a motorcycle theme, so yet one of the, uh, the many facets of this genre. I love the, the type on the back with like the arrows and stuff and the little oh, yeah. illustrations. Very, very cool. So, <laughs> I actually put a, a photo up on Facebook about this record the other day. So these types of records, this record in particular, is not great. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, that does not diminish my love for it. Okay? It's just... Um, it's just not great. It's just not great. It's totally, it's totally fine music. It's amicable. It's, yeah. <laughs> Agreeable. It's moderate at best. There's that yakety sack. <laughs> yeah, I just... I don't know, I, I kind of like it. I love it. <laughs> it does kind of sound like a, a jingle. Yeah. Yes. Like a 60s, Very much. 60s commercial jingle. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, it could be a cola commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely not my favorite motorcycle record. Right. You know? Well, you, I mean, you got all those Hondell records. That's you can't, I, I mean, say, you can't yeah. touch those. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, the other one that's really good that has more instrumentals is the Hornets. Oh, yeah. So that's a really good one. Yeah. I think there's another one, too. The Kickstands, maybe? They were just, they were trying to do... Oh, key change. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of them. <laughs> they're trying to make it interesting. Um, <laughs> try. 
<laughs> he weren't trying. Yeah. You so, tried your best and you failed miserably. Listen, no, you I never tried. I, mean, I love these. I love these records. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Yeah, short lived. All right. Feel so. free to do a deeper dive on that on your own time. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, we probably uh, that's probably not something that we'll we'll cover here on the show. All right, is this our last one? Yep. Oh wow. Uh, yes. We went quick. We went quicker than I thought we would. Okay, so our last one. I don't know anything about these guys. Uh, I, I, I think they're from SoCal, and this is on Sh our buddy Sharwaji, so shout out to uh, to Mike from Sharwaji. So this is Surf Monster. And again, a vendor had this, and I was like, why not, right? So, and this is cool. I got some, uh, I don't know if you can see, it came with like a sticker. Yeah, Brad, like a looks guitar like, pick? Yeah, and a guitar pick. I'll have you show that off while I'm getting the record out, Brad. Yeah. Well, that's stuck. Here. Uh-oh. It's wedged. <laughs> we got the uh, the sticker here and the guitar pick with the monster head. Oh, Ooh, and wow. Surf monster on the back. We got a cool... Oh, wow. Monster slime green vinyl here. That's I like that cool. it's opaque. Yeah, that's cool. And um, yeah, I think these guys either just played or are playing one of the Serpent Sundays at the Huntington Beach Pier, which are always cool shows. They have such great lineups. Um, I know Chillingsworth has played or is playing soon. Oh, yeah. yeah, please. Got some cool suits on the back, man. Ooh. Mm hmm. I like that. Mm hmm. I like that chunky bass. Yeah. Thank you. One thing I'll say about this track. So, I think these guys are a three piece. It looks like they're, they're a three piece on yeah, the back. Yeah, from the back, yeah. And I can't hear a, a second guitar, from what I can tell. But it sounds pretty full. It's full, yeah. It's I also nice and like thick. I like how he's going between like a a lead and then uh, and then like a little bit of a rhythm, but not too long, because that's that's the issue with like with three pieces a lot yeah. of times. Like they're trying to fill as much space as they can, and so they'll they'll play more chunky than they necessarily need to. But yeah, everybody's kind of doing their their job of filling the space, which is. Very cool. It's very, very difficult. That's why we have. That's why we have three, three guitars. guitar players. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to talk a little bit about SU 101 because I think I said I would, um, and and we're not running too long on time here today. So y'all, it was like a dream. It was really amazing. Um, I got to see a bunch of my friends, you know, from all over the country and people that I hadn't seen since COVID and um, just really, really cool. It was the best, I would say it's the best music event I've ever been to. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, very inspirational. Um, <laughs> uh, the Frigidaires, we've been cranking out new tunes and, That's right. and we've been working on stuff and a lot of the things that I, I feel like I learned a lot from SG 101, like how to use a group dynamically and that's things that we're gonna start implementing in, in our yeah. own music and in my own, my own music, my own pieces and, and compositions and things like that. Um, so some of my favorite groups, Volcanoes, um, Surf Kings were amazing. Uh, a group that really surprised me was El Sandman and the Sundowners, which is Chris Barfield from uh, Huntington Cads and uh, a couple of the guys from the Volcanics, which we've covered both both, group, both of those groups. They don't have any recordings yet, but it was like a religious experience. So it really was like 
they played three sets in one room and I watched at least, I watched two full sets and then another partial of their set when they started like repeating, repeating material uh, because they were just that good. And I uh, can't wait to hear more from those because I really hope that they record because I don't know of much recordings from, from Chris Barfield. Uh, he is on the new Draculina EP, which I don't think I've heard yet. That's on a music recording. Um, yeah, um, I went out there with uh, with Bob's from the Circling Surfwear, one of our good buddies and sponsors of Stompfest, which is coming up this month, y'all. I'm excited! Stompfest yes. month, the end of the month, and we're Three playing weeks? the we're playing the pre-party at Trader Vic's the night before. So that's going to be awesome. It's going to um, be a lot of fun. It always is. The, uh, the venue was really cool for SG 101. It was at the Golden Sales Hotel in, uh, in Long Beach. And it was great to be able to stay on premises and then see three days of music. Uh, Bob and I biked to the Tiki Bar. We went to the beach. Just, just wonderful. So yeah, I, I can't say enough good things. And I've already forgotten a lot of stuff that was uh, uh, that, that even I was gonna talk about. but. Truly incredible. If you can go next year, please do. I really hope it's kind of the same format, uh, a weekender at a hotel, because that was a transformative, I think, experience for, for, for the festival. Um, and it was, they sold out. I don't know if they've ever sold out before. Wow. And more than, I think, 200 people more than they've had at other festivals. So, wow. um, yeah, and it, it was it was incredible. And I, I, wish, I wish you guys could have been. I wish I could have gone as well. One day, we'll get yeah, there. Yeah, one day we'll go. We'll all go. Cool, well I think, uh, I've probably talked long enough about that, yeah? <laughs> huge, huge shout out to Jeff, Big Tiki Dude, for putting on such a wonderful event, and all the vendors, and and, uh, and every, all the bands that played. It really, there was not a sticker in the bunch. It was fantastic. Um, so, uh, I think that's going to do it for us. We'll have a new video coming out for you real soon. Other than this, I'm sorry we've been a little bit behind. We've been busy and tired and dealing with stuff. <laughs> so, of stuff man. Dealing with life. My gosh. So, hopefully we can get back kind of on a, on a regular weekly schedule again. Or at least every couple of weeks. Um, Remember Stop Fest, September 29th at uh, Trader Vic's is the pre-party. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be us and uh, Kinky Waikiki and Disastronauts. Wow. Nice. And uh, a whole bunch of bands at, uh, at Stop Fest on the Saturday after on the new Avondale Town Green. We're excited. It's a change of venue. And uh, Cherry and I are no longer uh, running the show. That's no. Jamie and, and Richard and, and, and James. And, Bob and a whole bunch of people. They're misfit crew. They're misfit crew. Um, they're trying to involve us as much as we'd like to be involved, and I, <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, so we're just kind of like consultants, I think, at this point. Yeah. But, uh, That's a good place to be. Yeah. It's a great place to be. We're looking forward to just basically showing up and you know helping out a little bit here and there, but yeah. really just getting to watch the music and, right. and enjoy. First time in seven years. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Plus. Mm hmm. So, uh, if you like this video, uh, please check out our other videos. We got a ton now, like mm -hmm. 60 something videos, I think. Yep. Um, and uh, hit that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when we release new videos. And I think that's going to be it for us. Brad, thanks for being on the show. Anything you want to talk about? Just thanks for having me. Uh, Please come check out the Stompfest pre-party at Trader Vic's. It's always a good time, a great place to be. And um, I look forward to coming back real soon. Oh, also, we have a, a, a new record coming We out. do have a record coming so, out. So, on Otitis Media Records. So, head on over to Otitis, Otitis Media Records and uh, pick that up on CD or vinyl. Um, brand colored vinyl. And it's sounding great. It's looking great. We haven't seen the test presses or anything yet, but... They're coming. Uh, they're coming. Uh, so next month, October, is what we're what we're shooting for. Can so. they pre-order it? Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. We would love that. Right. We really, really appreciate it. Um, please leave it, uh, us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Um, your thoughts on any of these groups or any other surf music festivals or anything, really. Um, and until next time, we hope that wherever you are in the world, that you're happy, healthy, and safe. And cheers. Cheers.